Hey everyone, Mark here at the Off Grid Homestead in the great state of Arizona. So have you ever asked yourself, dang, why, why didn't I do that before? Man, wh why did I wait so long before I did that? Well, we're in the times right now where if you're not already doing what you should be doing, pretty soon you're going to be saying, man, why didn't I already do that? Maybe you've been thinking about, you know, buying you a piece of property, maybe a little off-grid piece of property. Maybe you've been thinking about starting to be more prepared for things in case, uh, you know, an SHTF event happens. Maybe you've been thinking about being a, a little more self-sufficient, relying on yourself a little more instead of everything else around you and everybody else around you. Well, if you've been thinking about those things and you haven't started acting yet, I would say, man, we should get on it. Get on it. Start making those first steps because if you're not and you're not paying attention to what's going on in the world today, right now, then uh, you're going to be behind the eight ball for sure. So it's time to get yourself ready, prepared, self-preparedness, self-reliant, the best of your ability, where you're at. If you have the ability to, to go uh, make a down payment on a piece of property. You know, you can put a, a few hundred dollars down sometimes on a piece of property. You just got to search for it, you know. Even some of them, a title company, you know, they, very little. Little money down, small payments sometimes. You just got to do your research. So if property is something you want to do, get on it. Quit procrastinating. Because the time's coming, and I think it's coming real soon, where we're going we're gonna to say, man, I can't believe I didn't get that done. Dang, what the heck was I waiting for? Well, too late now, you know. You don't have your extra gas storage. Well, gas is now, uh, oil is now $150 a barrel. It's not, but they're predicting that could be coming with what's going on in the Middle East. If that war expands, then it expands. And that is going to affect us in America. A lot of people think, oh, we're immune in America. Well, no, we're not. You know, our border's been open pretty much for two years now. And they're catching terrorists and everything else coming across. So there's over a, almost 2 million people that have got away, that ain't that they known gotaways, that they saw come across the border, but they don't know where they went. Known gotaways, they call them. And, uh, and at almost 2 million, you bet your bottom dollar some of them do not like the United States and do not like you or me. So we got to start planning for those things. It's going to be more than natural disasters here pretty soon. It's going to be these, uh, these man-made disasters, war, terrorist activities, things like that. So to sit down and sit on our couch and think about doing stuff, but not actually taking the steps to do it, we're, we're failing ourselves. You know what I mean? So I'm encouraging you, you guys out there to, uh, to get yourself motivated, get going, you know, to start taking that first step. And if you've already taken steps, that's awesome. Take the next steps, you know, whatever it is. Remember everything water revolves around food, water, and shelter. You know, when you think of shelter, think about keeping yourself warm, keeping yourself cool the best you can. That's part of sheltering yourself, your, your climate right around you. Think about that, how you can uh, mitigate any rough times that might be happening with that. So yeah, now's the time. And for those of y'all out there, or you, you probably know some, I know I had a, a few videos back, I had one of y'all subscribers out there comment about, you know, hearing people around the water cooler talking about kind of like the prepping and shtf saying oh well, i'll just go over to so-and-so's house they're they're preparing they're preparing and not have done anything to help that person or or to help themselves well no you're not if you think you're going to just show up and people think that and or i don't know maybe some of y'all out there say you're just going to let every you know joe blow from kokomo show up at your house and and use what you worked for to build up and prep for and not have done anything at all to help you or bring anything with them. Now, if somebody brings things with them, that's a bonus. That helps. 
that means they're doing something. But oh, Joe Blow from Kokomo that knocking on your door, you know, with an empty coffee cup or whatever, then uh, yeah, they didn't come prepared. So you're gonna have to make decisions when that time comes, what are you gonna do? You're gonna take what you plan, the food that you plan for, for your family, your wife, your husband, your kids, for somebody who did nothing for themselves, who relied on others while they were where they're at before the SHTF event happened, event happened, and now we're wanting to rely still on others. But this time it may not be the government or the grocery store or whatever else, it's people who are trying to get by themselves. So unfortunately, there's people out there, you know, and yeah, they could be at the water cooler. You could hear them at work talking about it. But those are the people that, in my opinion, they don't have anything coming. If you have extras and the ability to do that, well, that's a different story. But planning, prepping, and preparing, and especially, as I said, right now with what's going on in the world, uh, it's something that we have to be doing absolutely have to be doing you know everything is not red licorice and unicorns you know as israel found out things happen things happen in the world and things could happen here in the united states so let's not be naive let's do what we can to prepare to take care of ourselves and our family you know there's there's a, not a more important thing that you that, that you could do then to prepare for the hard times during the good times so you're ready because the hard times are coming and the more we sit around and procrastinate each day you know each hour each minute that's how much further behind we are now it doesn't have to be huge gigantic monster steps for preparedness but it has to be a step you know, even if it's a, a box of Top Ramen, you know, yeah, that's a box of Top Ramen. You need something to eat. Yeah, it may not be the healthiest, but if you're hungry, you're going to want to eat it. And it's cheap. That's probably one of the cheapest food preps you can do. You know, buy you and think about, oh, I'm going to buy some green beans or something to mix with that. Well, you made it a little bit healthier. You can prep food pretty cheap if you don't need filet mignon and all those type of things, you know? You think on the on the cheap and hit the dollar store, the dollar general, hit sales, get your coupons out. Now they have what, the electronic coupon things you can use in the stores. You know, start doing that stuff today. If you could run down right now to your local store and, and buy, you know, a box of one thing, then go do it. That's one thing you didn't have earlier today next week you get paid or whatever do it again go buy two things two or three things but understand that those weeks are running out those time that time to prepare is getting shorter and shorter and pretty soon it is going to be dang should have done that already man why didn't i do that gosh it's too late Man, I can't get that now. It's off the shelf. Can't do this now. It's off the shelf. Why? Because I waited too long. All the warning signs are there. You know, we see it. What's going on? We see it. the warning signs are there. You don't need more of a warning sign than what's happening right now in the world. So it's important. I want you all to, to be safe, be prepared, be able to take care of your family the best to the best of your ability, you know. And anything helps anything's gonna help so do what you can stay prepared stay focused and stay safe i appreciate y'all watching like and subscribe to keep up catch you on the next one